It's a pretty dull winter's day here at Stowe Hill, but here's a fabulous boat. She's called Orgin. She's 60 feet long. She's a semi-traditional stern, and she was built in 2009 by Reeves, fitted out by Hartwood Narrowboats, and a lovely job they've done too. Really good condition, this boat. Been well looked after. There was a full survey conducted in November 2017. That's available for viewing in the office. She was last blacked in February 2018. And she's just had the engine serviced in September 2019. She handles like a dream, actually. She's got a super quiet engine. There's a hospital silencer on the Beta Marine. It's just short of 4,000 hours on the clock. Storage locker in the bows there. The gas is on the stern. She has a bow thruster, a Vita 60 kgf. There's 100 watts of solar power on the roof here towards the back of the boat. Lovely large window, she feels very light inside. And a couple of taff seats on the back. Very social area, the semi-trads. So on we go, let's have a look. The stern at the beta 43s under the deck boards there, super quiet as I say. The gas is under that seat on the left of the screen as you're looking at it. And down into the boat we go. She's a fabulously fitted out boat. Solid wood floor. She's fitted out in oak face ply with oak trim. Very neat electrics. All the electricaries in here. There's a Victron 3 kilowatt inverter. There's a travel power 3.5 kilowatt generator in there. So 230 volts will not be a problem. Very useful storage cupboard underneath the electrics. And she's sort of reverse layout, really, not your classic reverse layout. The dinette area is in the stern here. 32-inch television there on the wall. Cupboards all the way under the gunnels on the starboard side of the boat here. This room's 13 feet long, so plenty of room. Lovely large side hatch. That's got windows that close up as well, so if the weather's inclement, you can have the side hatch open and stay dry. There's a Houdini hatch over the galley there. And under this granite work surface are lots and lots of cupboards. Prepare to feast yourself for a bit of a cupboard show. Radiator there, the central heating on board is a, hy a Hurricane Hydronics heating system. That's diesel fired. Three radiators and a towel rail on board. The fridge there, that's a 230 volt Lieb Her. I'm not sure how you pronounce that with an ice box. Huge cupboard under the work surface on the other side. Lots of preparation area here. Three burner gas hob. It's a Bomatic with a full size belling oven and grill. There's also a microwave on board. Lots and lots of storage. On the other side, the bin's in there, three drawers under there, there's a pan rack, cupboards under here. Storage is one thing this boat is not short of. And there's the view down from the galley. Lovely spacious area. Head height on the on the boat, by the way, is six foot four inches. Lighting is all LED and there's under gunnel lighting through the full length of the boat. Bedroom's next. It's a cross bed. The bed's huge, six foot four by six foot two. Very easily made up and beautiful woodwork over the head end. Large wardrobe here. And cupboards, as I say, across the full width of the bed. Storage underneath the bed. And on we go. Into the bathroom. Another Houdini hatch in here makes the room feel very light and airy. Ceramic basin. Cupboards over. And the loo itself is a Thetford cassette. There's a spare cassette on board as well. Heated towel rail there. And the shower cubicle's in the corner here. There's an extractor fan in light that sits over the shower cubicle. These portholes, by the way, all come out. If it's very, very hot, the glass comes out and they've got fly screens, circular fly screens that slot in. This is the utility room. It used to be a bedroom. The current owners turned it into a utility room. They had three dogs on board. 
So great area for them. Lots and lots of storage. And under here is the washing machine and a 230 volt freezer. That's brand new. I mentioned three dogs. The boat does not smell doggy. I ought to make that point. Another full length cupboard. Yes, yeah, so it's a great room this. You could reinstate it to a bedroom, you could leave it as it is. But it offers a great room to just potter, I suppose. Add onto the front deck. Storage under either side of there. And this is that storage locker I mentioned. Oh, I'll come back and sort that padlock out. So we'll have another quick walk back through the boat. I mentioned the generator. Batteries are four 140 amp leisure batteries, one starter and a bow thruster battery, so plenty of battery power. It's a good sized water tank actually, 600 litres. And hot water is sourced via the engine, the central heating system, and there is an immersion heater on board if you're plugged into landline. Absolutely stunning boat, perfect for living aboard or extended holiday cruising. And there we go, that's a Gian. Lovely boat. There's a gallery of further photographs, downloadable specification, and the price to be found on our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.